It was from the second chapter. In today's class, we will I'll start the new chapter that is dimensional analysis. You might be thinking I'm skipping some of the portion from that chapter, but I'm only teaching the certain topics which are very important for the examination and to do some calculations and so on. And this chapter is one of the most important chapters in physics, that is dimensional analysis. Now, physical quantities can be expressed in different units. As I've already taught you about units, physical quantities, physical quantity means quantities which can be measured. Okay, those quantities can be expressed in different units. And in mechanics, okay, in mechanics, a physical quantities can be expressed in the form of dimensions. Okay. Now, for example, okay, for to make it more clear, for example, I'll take example that is velocity. Now, the formula of velocity is displacement by time. Okay, formula of velocity is displacement by time. The unit for velocity, SI unit, is meter per second. This is one unit. Another unit is kilometer per hour or you can also write kilometer per second. Every unit is correct. This is the SI unit. Now, over here, what is the unit of velocity? Unit of velocity is equal to unit of this M is meter. That is the unit of length. Unit of length divided by second is the unit of time. This is unit of time. So unit of length is actually derived from unit of length. Oh sorry, unit of velocity is actually derived from unit of length and unit of time. Now, unit of length, suppose I write it in this way. Okay? Unit of length has got power 1. Okay? This L has got power 1. This is unit of length. Time, unit of time, what is the power? It's also 1. Okay, the power is also 1. But when we take this in the numerator, this 1 becomes minus 1. So time becomes minus 1. Anything when we take it from denominator to the numerator, we write minus. Always remember that we write minus. So now this is the unit. And one more thing over here, we have to add, add it later on. Now the power of the dimension of velocity is L to the power length to the power 1 times the power minus 1. And mass. What is the mass over here? Mass factor is not at all mentioned. For velocity, we don't need the mass factor. But still we are writing M to the power 0. That means mass factor is not at all present. So this we cover it in this kind of brackets and this becomes the dimensional formula for velocity. Okay, we'll do some more dimensional formula to make it more clear. But this is for the velocity. We write in the form M, L, N, T. M for mass, L for length, T for time. This is how we write dimensional formula. Now the importance of dimensional formula and dimensional analysis, we'll also study about that. First of all, we'll learn how to write or change formula into dimensional formula. Now, this is usually done in mechanics. The definition of dimension formula will be, the definition of dimension will be, the powers of this thing. Okay, power is 1, power, power is minus 1. The powers to this physical quantity is actually the dimension. Over here for velocity, we need only one dimension of length and one dimension of Time. But for different formulas, we need different dimensions. So, to express that dimension, we will represent, okay, remember this, we will represent mass by capital M, length by capital L, time by capital T. Okay, now, uh, definition for dimensional formula, I'll just read it out. You can note it down or it's also there in the book. You can note it down from the book also. The dimension of a physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental units are raised in order to obtain the derived unit of the quantity. 
So as I have told you, the dimension of physical quantity means the power of length, mass and time. So from there we understand that what is the actual dimension of that particular formula. Now first of all we will find for area. To find the dimensional formula, one of the most important thing to find the dimension, to know the dimensional formula and from here what we can do is, we can actually check the equation if it is formula, if it is true or the formula is wrong or right. Okay, to check the formula also, the most important thing is to check the dimension. From the dimension, we can actually know the formula if it is uh, right or wrong. So first of all for length. Now, what is the formula of squared for area? For area, this is the simplest formula of all. Area is length into breadth. So to find the dimensional formula, we should actually know the actual formula for that. Area is length into breadth. Now, length will be denoted by capital L power 1 or instead of 1 you can write nothing it also means it is 1 so 1 breadth is also breadth is also measured in terms of length only so it's also 1 so l to the power 2 okay l to the power 1 plus 1 is 2 what is the time factor over here time is not there so time factor is not included in area so it will be 0 Mass factor is also not there. So mass over here will be 0. This is the dimensional formula for area. Similarly, volume also we can do directly. Volume will be, okay, in, if it is volume, just note it down in your notebooks, it will be easier for you all. Now for volume, volume is length into breadth into height. So, length is L, breadth is L, height will also be L because height is also measured in terms of length only. So, there are 3 L, so power of L will be 3. The rest M and T still the same. This is for area and volume. Now, the third one for Density. Density is mass by volume. The formula for density is mass by volume. Now in examination, you might be thinking what sort of questions will be asked. You might be asked to find the dimensional formula of volume. So this will be the steps involved. Find the dimensional formula of density that we will do right now. There will be two the formula is right or wrong that we will also be there so we will start with the basic we are starting with area volume then becomes density now for density mass is denoted by capital <laughs> m to the power one if it is mass square to the power two volume is you can derive it okay if it is if you don't remember things if you don't know, if the question is only to find about density and if this is not done before, you can derive from the formula or if you remember the formula, you can directly write the formula. But to remember the, all the formulas might not be that easy. So uh, to remember this dimensional formula might not be easy. But as a physics student, you need to remember the formula for the, this basic things. Area, volume, density, velocity, all these things are so basic. You need to remember the formula for each and everything and even the units. Now for the volume, the dimensional formula is this. It is m to the power 0, l to the power 3, t to the power 0. Okay, this is the dimensional formula for mass and this is for density. Now we need to change this. Now when we take denominator to the numerator, everything will be in minus so please to remember this everything will be in minus so for the first one okay uh, the first one is first one is 
mass. So mass is 1, 0. If you take this up, it will be 1 minus 0. Just a mental calculation or I will do it in the easier way. Already m is 1. So if you take this 0 up there, no need to write m 0 again. Okay, then if you write m minus 0. L, if you take 3 up, it will be minus 3. T is 0. If you take up, it's still 0. Minus 0 is, the, that kind of number is not there, so you can write 0. If 0 does, will not be minus 0, it is already 0. Now, this M is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. L is minus 3. T is 0. So, this is the dimensional formula for density. Okay. Now, The next thing which we will do today is for velocity. Fourth one is velocity is equals to oh sorry velocity we have already done in the static itself while well, well, I was explaining you this chapter I have already done for velocity. Fifth one we will do that will be for acceleration. Acceleration is equals to velocity for time. Okay. Formula for acceleration is velocity by time. So velocity, the dimension of velocity which we have already done is L M0 L1 T minus 1. This was for velocity. Time is again over your time is 1. So this becomes M is 0, L is 1, T 1. Minus 1. If this 1 goes up here, it will be minus 1 minus 1. So this becomes M0 L1 T minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2. So this is the dimensional formula for acceleration. Okay, I will do few more that is. Uh, for force. Now, there are so many formulas given in the book. Uh, the dimension formula, so many you can try it out by yourself. If you have any doubt, if you cannot solve it, please ask me, okay? If you want to ask me what you, the problems you have, I won't be able to understand what you are uh, finding difficulty. Now, the sixth one is force. Is the formula for force is mass into acceleration. Force is mass into acceleration. So mass will be m to the power of 1. Acceleration is this. We have done the formula. So it is m 1 plus 0 1 l still 1 L, t minus 2. This is for force. Now, till here I have done, this is the sixth formula. You can try, there are many formulas you have given in the book and please do remember all the basic formulas. If, if like in uh, other chapters, this basic formulas will not be given. There are direct derivations, so this part will be uh, excluded. So you might find a difficulty to catch up for the few beginning steps because of not, because of not knowing the formulas. So the basic formulas of power, linear momentum, work, force, all these things which I have already studied in the previous classes like 10, 9 and all, these formulas are to be remembered. So that will be easier for you and even the units has to be remembered in the SI form. Okay. So if you have any difficulty please do ask because till now nobody has asked anything if they have difficulty in finding, doing some calculations uh, sort of things. So please do ask if you have any problem. In the next class, we will be discussing about the importance of the dimensional analysis to find or, or finding this dimensional formula. So where it is being used and why we can use it after like uh, for doing different calculations and all or to check the correctness of the uh, formulas and all. So to, for today, uh, today only, we will continue in the next class. Thank you.